Perfect Dirt Podcast, episode 205, Lamar, Lust, Magic, and the Witch's Sabbath. You know, sometimes, Joe, you can fall into the wrong crowd, and it's uh, especially true when you're a young girl and who's into Wiccan practices, and then you move into a town, you know, and meet, you know, some random women who are devil worshippers and witches. And this yeah. comes from a company called Hajbob Job Productions, <laughs> directed by Andrew Chambers. Yep. And he sent this to us, and he also directed Babezilla versus the zombie horde so we, we are familiar that. with this work. yes we did yes. watch that there is a theme in between some of these movies but anyways lamar let's go to our first category which is what did we think of the story let's just get this out the way um burning witches you know hey you got to do it that's the first scene yeah. uh, the young lady witnesses her mother actually get burned up and then we jump to current times and then we have a young woman by the name of Morgan, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, she has to move away, go out on her own. And after that, uh, she kind of basically falls into a coven of witches who worship the devil. You forgot an important part. They befriended her because she is a virgin, and they needed a virgin for the Dark Lord. Yes. Satan. Yes. Because he has to impregnate her. Yeah. And the only person that can stop them is the grown-up little girl from that saw her mother burn as a witch. And now she's very religious or whatever. Her name is Crazy Mary, played by Ivy Smith, uh -huh. who we interviewed before. 50-foot cam girl. 50-foot cam girl. Yeah. So, yeah. What do we think about this? <laughs> what do you rate uh, it or whatever? It, it had a base, but it, I think it took a long time to ah. get to where it was. Yeah. I, it did have a foundation of something. Mm -hmm. The problem was this was probably really a short film. They yeah. stretched it out to an hour and they filled it with basically a music video. <laughs> like they would have yeah. full songs that would show someone just driving while the full mm -hmm. song played and then someone else doing something else while the full song played. I'll give it a half point. Same here. Half point. Yes. Well, the next category is what do we think of the characters? Well, they didn't really have that many characters. They had Morgan, they had Crazy Mary, they had her friend, yep. and then there's the Witch's Coven, and then, of course, the Devil. They fleshed out the Morgan character decently, right? Yes. I thought maybe they should have done more with Crazy Mary's character. I, I get her motivation. Right. Well, we saw what happened to her when she was young. Yeah. I don't know. I thought they maybe could have focused more on her like trying to stop the witches like showing more of her like how she lives maybe she like has newspaper clippings about witch sightings and all this oh. stuff you know something Fle a little more fleshed out the characters I a little thought. bit more okay that makes sense yeah I, what do you give it half point yeah that's where i'm at it's not bad all right well the next category is the use of witch lore they hinted that she's into that stuff, but it wasn't like, you know, right off the bat. They kind of progressed over right. time. And then it's kind of like she meets the other girl and she's like, oh, you're into a little bit of Wiccan, stick, Wiccan stuff. And then then they open up the floodgates of, oh, yeah, we're, uh, you know, murderous witches who yeah. worship the devil. Well, yeah. I don't know much about witch lore, Lamar. I've known a couple witches <laughs> i guess but i don't know much about the lore my like i compare it to a movie like the craft where you oh, see okay. them really going deep down and in, into it like mm. there wasn't a lot of that so i thought maybe eh, a little little more witch stuff mm. would have been cool i give it a half point i was gonna give it a one okay okay give it what you please <laughs> you just don't want the witches to be angry at you so you don't get cursed. Joe, we can't risk the show. I went on a date with a Wiccan woman. So I'm not, oh, so you're good? I'm you, still you, here. You, you're so still as good. far as okay, I know. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe, yeah, you got me there. You got me there. All right, well, yeah. our next category is effects. They had, you know, a little bit of makeup and all that kind of stuff. It's not like a effect-laden thing. They did yeah. have a pretty wild-ass, like, blood squirt. Like, yeah, that was cool. That, that was insane. I, I was like, damn. Like, do we have to write a rule about like when you cut someone's neck, how much blood comes out? <laughs> like, 
You'd be surprised. I don't know. I don't know. That, because this one, it was like, oh, <laughs> right. that was cool. There was um, a prosthetic uh, body part. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Well, let's, let's go ahead. Uh, uh, to go with that, there was a um, special effect bodily fluid, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you got to sell it, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll give it a half point for effects. It, oh, like, give it, it a half point? It wasn't a, a really an effect-laden film, as you said. It wasn't an effect-laden film? Yeah, I agree. Half a point. But yeah. it they didn't do, like, really stupid... Like, no, CGI. nothing yeah, looked bad. Nothing because looked they had bad. the devil makeup and stuff, too. Like, nothing yes. looked bad. It just wasn't a lot of it. Yes. However... There was a lot of something else, which is our last category, TNA. Well, I tell you, I didn't know witches <laughs> get down like this, Joe. Uh, there was a lot of nudity. Boy, I, I guess that's how you get into, you know, in a coven, you got to get naked as a woman. So Get naked? Well, you know, you dated um, a Wiccan woman. I went on one date with a oh, Wiccan Oh, so she didn't woman. tell you everything? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was I was too confused by the idea of wow. being a Wiccan. It actually has more to do with kind of like what the woman in the movie said. She can cast spells against evil, but not oh, for okay. evil. Mm. That's Maybe what I was told. At least. <laughs> this is an educational film. Just because something's Wiccan doesn't mean it's witch stuff. That's what this movie is. Even though, well, um, their fates are kind of sealed. But, but. There was a lot of nudity in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good tie-in. Yeah, everybody. And even uh, they, the witches. Uh, well, they didn't really cast a spell on Crazy Mary, but they gave her the illusion that they did, and that drove her to um, nudity as well. <laughs> so, yep. Uh, yeah. Moral of the movie is nudity, I guess. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so what do we give it for TNA, Lamar? One. One point, of course. We, we always do, yes. Yeah. Well, Lamar, we tally the score, and this movie gets a 3.25 out of 5. Yeah, it is worth a watch. Check it out. It will, for the premiere, when this airs, is last Saturday, and then it'll be available on all digital platforms. Yes. So, yeah. I would recommend the movie for any people that like witchcraft. Okay. Devils. Witchcraft. Okay. Nudity. Yes. Witchcraft. Nudity. That's a wide audience. <laughs> it's actually the majority of our audience. So. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> what, what, what can you do, Joe? What can you do? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, does that wrap it up then, Lamar? It does. Peace. Deuces.